Yeah, my name is uh, Colonel Gene Meredith. Uh, I currently serve as the Deputy Commander for 2nd Infantry Division uh, in Korea. Uh, and uh, I came here for the uh, dedication of In the Mood and Tanks and uh, Mons. Uh, in the Mood is the M4 uh, Sherman tank that's uh, out in front of the museum right now. A project uh, uh, that a team of us have been working on uh, for uh, just shy of a year right now. Uh, and uh, the city of Mons, for about uh, the past 39 years, I've been told, has been trying to get a uh, tank uh, for its museum here uh, and, uh, and have it uh, and a uh, couple of attempts with the uh, U.S. Army to, to get a, a specifically a Sherman. Uh, here uh, and uh, they hadn't been successful for a, uh, quite a few uh, years there uh, when we found out about it. The, uh, the graciousness and, and the uh, sense of uh, gratitude uh, displayed towards the Americans is like anything I've ever seen before uh, to include uh, you know, the tanks in town day where they actually drive the route that 3rd Armored Division took. Uh, when it liberated Mons, and uh, you know, there's nothing like the feeling of being on top of a tank and rolling down a uh, city street and having you know thousands of people waving American flags and cheering you, and uh, you know, it just uh, brings a smile to my face as you can see here. Just an amazing experience. So last year we found out uh, right at the tanks in town that they, the desire for the M4, and we went to work on uh, trying to find a tank. Uh, as you know, in Europe, uh, we're consolidating a lot of posts and we have a lot of static displays, so we looked for an M4 across posts that were being downsized or, or closed. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find an M4 that uh, uh, available in any of those locations. Uh, and then we went to uh, the, the depot yards and the places that we, we keep, uh, you know, uh, excess equipment and stuff, still couldn't find an M4 anywhere. Uh, but we did have one up at Chev's Air Base, uh, just about 30 kilometers north of here, uh, sitting uh, at the entry way there. And after talking to the garrison commander and uh, promising him another tank, uh, although it wouldn't be an M4, uh, we were able to uh, swing a deal where we would take that M4 and bring it down here uh, to Mons, because a lot of people didn't get to see it up there. And uh, having it here right in the heart of Mons, you know, it'll be you know, seen by thousands of people every day. Mons was liberated uh, 75 years ago today. And I'll have to say, you know, to this day, they, they don't forget that. Like I said, there's, you know, thousands of American flags flying right outside this building right now. Uh, you know, what other country you go to that you, you see that.